one of my big concerns right now is neither Fortis nor Wood Fiber have really dealt with their housing adequately and we already have a housing crisis. If you are going to come, you need to do something meaningful in terms of addressing housing and from my perspective they haven't done that and we're already starting to see that of our community being saturated with workers who are trying to find a place to live but there's already no place to live for people. We need more housing, we need people to build that housing. It's already a challenge to find the construction workers. On top of taking up <laughs> what little housing we have, they're making it harder for us to build new housing that we need. As you start to dig into wood fiber and understand that it is only financially viable as far as I can tell with massive public subsidies. One of the things about subsidies is that the people who don't want a project and understand that a project is harmful, they're stuck paying for it. Wood Fiber has tried really hard to make everyone feel like the project is inevitable, but I, I don't think it is. They need financing, they need support from investors, and I don't know that they have all that yet. And I don't believe the economics are very good for this industry. It does really matter when we get those emails and letters at the local council table, and three emails from three different people, it has an impact on our decisions and Fortis will be coming to us for a temporary use permit for worker housing and those things will have big impacts on our communities. From my perspective, you never give up, you never stop doing what you think is right. There's value in people standing up for what they believe in. I don't accept that these projects are inevitable.